welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the tracking for the Gap Options newsletter for one week. This is the week of May 26, 2023. The win ratio was 67%, and average return investment, this includes the losers, was 166%. This is with an advanced trader risk. Again, I get this question a lot. How many trades do you call on the newsletter? How many can I expect in a week? You can expect as many as I get good gaps. In a slow week, we may have, you know, three trades. I don't think we've ever gone a whole week without any trades. In a busy week, we may have more trades than this week. So this is like an average week. And there were nine trades this week. During a busy week, there might be twice as many trades. It's earnings season is a busy time. Sometimes you have a lot of volatility in the market. So you have to plan accordingly and say, I'm gonna take this much risk per trade. I'm gonna do this many trades per week. That'll really help you plan. Um, but this gives you kind of an idea. This particular week was nine trades. How many you can expect. And again, you must choose your risk. With a win ratio of 67%, you figure out of every 10 trades, three and a half or so on average you're gonna lose. And six and a half are gonna win. If you have questions, you can always reach out to me. You can watch me on TV or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So everything I do is based on my Golden Gap rating system. That's a system that I use to rate the gap to determine if I want to go long the gap in a bullish gap up or short the gap in a bearish gap down. We do a mix on the letter. We do puts and we do calls. Uh, so it's really a question of whether or not it is a gap that rates good. Like for example, this past week we went long NVIDIA. So NVIDIA was a call. So I will do calls on this letter, even though I prefer to short. As far as options go, I'm doing really good mix of them. So this particular week, again, the win ratio was 67% with nine trades, three losers, zero break even and six winners. The advanced trader risk in, in, in the trades I'm going to show you here was $8,000 per trade risk. That's on average. Some were a little bit more, some were a little bit less. You must determine your risk. The profits were $98,600 for this one week with an average return on investment of 166%. So getting to the point I'm trying to make is you must determine your risk with the cash of your size of your account. So again, if you have a margin account or if you have a cash account or it's a retirement account that you are allowed to trade options, you must check with your broker to find out. But we're buying the call, selling it, buying the put, selling it. That's what we're doing. This is trading momentum based on the gap rating. This is not complex option strategies. Your risk should be based on your cash account, like I said, so that you can take, you know, multiple trades. So if you want to risk $1,000 a trade and you want to do five trades at once, for example, then you need to have more than $5,000 in your account to do that. So let's go over the first one here, which was May 16th. Did the test of puts, it didn't work. Again, looking at this here, I'm going to show you the chart in a minute. The trade never went right. It cost $3, which was relatively cheap. Sold at zero. The profit was negative. Return on investment was nothing. Blew out into the day of the expiration. I will hold into the day of expiration if a trade is down to see if it comes back. This this never had a chance, really. Uh, stock closed here, gap down. Here's the day I called it. It reversed. So, you know, if you have a strategy where you want to, or money management, where you want to kill something at 50%, you can go ahead and do that. I don't do that. Some people do do that. If that works for you, you're going to save in the cash on the ones that lose. Uh, but then you may not make money in some that went that go at the end of the week. So this could have, it just didn't. So that was a loss. Apple 170 puts that I called on the 17th, this didn't work at all either. Very similar setup to Tesla actually. Uh, this was, what day was this? The 17th. Here. So again, closed here, gap down, fell, reversed. And again, take it to the right here. The 170s never got anywhere near that. So that did not work. That was a loss. Cisco completely reversed. This one lost too. The 45 puts I called, this was earnings on the 18th. And it was cheap. It almost was like too cheap looking back, but the volume was there. 
I mean, the volume was there, so I didn't take a full risk on this because I just thought it was just too much size. And I was worried about not getting out. Um, it should have sort of been a sign that it wasn't right, actually. Now, looking back, it could have added to it if it had gone in my direction, but it just never did. So this close here gap down. I called the 45s. Never went down there. Completely reversed 100%. Lost. So those were the three losers. Then we had a good one in PayPal. On the 18th, I called the 60 strikes in PayPal that expired the 26th, exited the 25th, although you could have got out earlier. Could have even held this to the last day, although I don't suggest it with the trade that's up this much. 55 cents was the cost. 150 contracts risk was 82.50, sold at 95 cents. That's a good trade. That's a great trade. Profit was 6,000. Again, 73% return on investment. So this was the 60s. Let's look at this here on the 18th. Here. So again, fell. It was a good timing on that. It was a nice move. It dropped. Uh, we had been playing that, and it and it and it really that was the big winner actually for the month of May. That was a nice short. Again, he put as a short. We did Baba 86 puts. This worked nicely. Called this on the 18th too. Cost a dollar fifty. Fifty contracts. Risk was seventy five hundred. Sold at seven. Profit was huge. Twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars. Three hundred sixty seven percent return investment. You could take one contract if you want. You could risk $150. It doesn't matter. It worked. Again, that's the nice thing about options. You can hold options overnight with a fixed risk, whatever you risk. You can't lose any more than your total risk. And if it continues overnight, you can make big banks. So that's what happened here. Gap down, fell off a cliff. So again, you can see through the strike, fell, fell, fell. So again, fell through the strike, dropped through, even went through 80. Did the Foot Locker 31 puts that expired the 26th? Again, you'll get this newsletter live to your email. So when you get it in the morning before the open, you can't do anything until after the open. If you get in the live day, you take the trade after you get it. Very reasonably priced a dollar, 80 contracts, risk was 8,000, sold at five, profit was $32,000, return on investment was 400%. So this, again, was one of these ones we did a lot. Close to your gap down fell, boom. That was a nice short in Foot Locker. Again, called it on the 19th, I'm doing the weeklies. We did Disney, which was Monday the 22nd. I'm fine with that, it has a whole week to go. $90 strike, 90 cents was the price, good price, cheap. Uh, 100 contracts, risk was 9,000, flipped it around. Again, 50% is good. If I get more than 100%, it's a great trade. And again, this just this just continued. So we'll look at this here, the 22nd. You could have held this all the way down. Look at that. So that was a nice movement in Disney. We did another foot locker strike, the 28 puts on Monday. This was huge. 40 cents, 200 contracts, risk was 8,000, sold at 225, profit was 37,000 with an $8,000 risk, return investment was 463%. Again, you could have held this into the last day too, but I don't suggest when you're up this much money holding into the last day. So you exit the day before, you take the money, don't let you know the trade go against you when you're up this much. And again, the 22nd was here. And there's the drop through the strike. And that was a short. We also did low. This was Tuesday. Sent it out early in the morning. This was earnings. This didn't go the way that I wanted, but it was a profitable trade. So you could have made 50 cents on this with a risk of 70 cents. And again, a $7,000 risk profit, 5,000 is still a nice trade. Now, again, what happened with this? So close your gap down, it reversed. That's not what I wanted it to do, to be honest with you. I wanted to fall and drop. It didn't. Reversed. Then it fell. Then it fell. And I said, boom, that's enough of this thing. And I got out. Because I was down when it rallied the first day. That wasn't good. So I was happy to have it go in that direction. So overall, again, nine trains. It, this is an average week. Some weeks it's more. Some weeks it's a little bit less. 
but this gives you some kind of an idea and again you can risk more than eight thousand dollars per train risk what you are comfortable risking so that you can take more than one train and keep your account intact because you are going to have some losers but the whole idea about being profitable trading is that you have more winners than losers which we do and some trades were huge winners if you want to sign up for the gap options newsletter it's a six month subscription or a 12 month subscription the half annual is 49.99 if you want to try it out sign up you'll be on the letter to the end of 2023 that's a long time for me i rate the gaps you don't have to worry about that if you sign up for the newsletter again it's a subscription service now if you want to do the class and learn you can take the class and learn my method the objective is to make money i think that people make money better when they understand what to do but there's plenty of people on the letter that have actually never taken the class which is interesting and people always say you know about paying for a six month or 12 month subscription you have to have the time invested that you're going to do this. You have to commit yourself that you want to trade. You have to have a trading account. You have to have an options account. You have to be able to do the trades. You pay for the subscription service on a credit card and you take your time paying it off if you're risking a smaller risk. If you're risking a larger risk, you could pay it off the cost of subscription even for one year in one good trade or one good week. The idea is that you are trading, learning as you go, getting the calls, making money moving forward and then usually people end up doing the class after the subscription because they are doing well and they want to learn what i know but whatever your goals are if it's to tr make money on the side trade for a living you need good trade ideas it's all about making money but you have to be serious about it so i'm very serious about what i do again sometimes i'll send a trade out seven o'clock in the morning i can tell it's going to be that good in this type of environment though you you and you alone will determine the course of your future and your financial freedom. You have to take charge of it in this market or any market, in this economy or any economy. And again, the nice thing about trading is you can do it from home. If you would like to learn my system though, the system is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when, and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. Again, the Golden Gap checklist is something that I'm doing in the morning. Then I'm sending the trades out, okay? But if you want to learn and take the class, the June class is coming up. Friday's a deadline. June 24th and 25th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Class tuition is $69.99. It's online. Anyone in the world can take it. You must email me for the forms. The combo includes the trends, which is a nice offer. You get the two-day golden gap and then the trends, which is Tuesday, 11 to 3. You save $500 by paying for them both. The trends helps you with swing trades, long-term trades, options, all of it. And the class for July, if you're interested in doing it a month from now, save up. $69.99 for the July class. Again, everyone pays the same price. It's July 22nd and 23rd. And then if you want to do the 12 months annual options, it's $69.99. Six months half annual is $49.99. That takes you to the end of the year. That's actually a lot of time. That's actually a lot of time to be in the letter six months and a lot of trades, a ton of trades. So if you have questions, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. If you want to sign up, you can sign up. You can sign up today. You'll get tomorrow's newsletters. Have a great day, everyone.